I'm going to read from my new book, Fasting for Ramadan, Notes from a Spiritual Practice. Uh, this book is comprised of two different journals that I kept uh, during Ramadan in two successive years. Uh, I'm going to read first from a journal that I kept in 2009, and this was originally posted as a blog. Uh, it was a daily Ramadan blog that I posted on the Kenyan Review website. So it was a very immediate form of communication. I was mm -hmm. fasting and keeping this blog of my experiences you know, early in the morning, uh, during the day, uh, and then in the evening after I'd eaten sometimes. So I'm going to read it, uh, uh, the first day to you. Morning. I woke easily this morning with anticipation. I had a crazy plan. Since I couldn't run during the day, I would wake up early before the morning meal, before sunrise, and run then. And after the run, I would come home, eat and drink in preparation for the fast. For a moment, though the fire in my body wanted to burn, I remembered the long day of fasting ahead and realized I had to find a new metaphor other than fire. The point of the fast is not to flagellate yourself to nothing, but to sharpen your attention, to diminish your worldly attention and distractions so you can better perceive what is actually around you. I know at some point during the month physical activity will help me towards this goal, but I wanted a gentler start, so I went for a walk instead through the dark streets of Oberlin. Finally, it's cool here. I will now confess to you I have a dangerous fear of the dark. I do not like basements. I turn on all the lights when no one is home, and on the streets I am always on the lookout for the murderer or the bandit. This morning, though, in the town I know, the only town I have lived in for longer than two years, I'm starting to actually feel like I belong to some place, that a place belongs to me. To be abroad in the dark, to have not eaten, looking at the buildings, the streets, thinking about what it is going to be like when I'm teaching classes, walking with friends, or socializing. Is this place even real, I wonder? The immediate corollary of which is, am I even real? After returning home, I ate ice cream, homemade and dairy-free, from the recipe that one of my students sent me. Sweetness comes to me from every direction. Then I chopped a pear, made oatmeal, soaked the pear in the oatmeal, added soy milk and brown rice powder. I drank two glasses of water, but I think I drank them too fast. I have to sip over the course of an hour or two to make sure all the water goes into me. Early in the morning, I am empty. I am grateful for the emptiness. It occurred to me to practice some yoga asana and work on a little translating. I made no plans with anyone today, so I am in my house alone. A friend of mine is coming home from her summer break. I asked her to call. I hope she calls. As you turn from the outside to the inside, it is nice to have some people around you to remind you that the other part of you is still there, has not disappeared. Because after all, the fast is a practice that is meant to end, which means even if you come to a realization about the illusions and temporality of the world and the fragility of the body, you are still supposed to come back to both.